I'm Shane Stewart, uh, drive for Kyle Larson Racing uh, with the World of Outlaw Sprint Car Team. I'm getting a little older now, and, and uh, but I think the maturity part of things to be able to deal with the, the grueling schedule of running the World of Outlaw Tour, uh, I think the age kind of plays a little bit of that. You know, we're in a, a good situation to where we're struggling, so let's go back to a car that we, we've had back at the shop and put it together and, and try to get back to square one and, and try to run up front and, and hopefully win some races. You wanted the best, you got them for a rest. Often imitated, never duplicated. The greatest show on dirt, the world of outlaws. Come back to the shop, you regroup, but it, the, the time you spend here at the shop makes your life a lot easier out on the road. And, uh, but yeah, it's, it's a pretty grueling schedule. Uh, as far as uh, motorsports goes, there's no other series out there that, that races as much as we do. We have two weekends off between uh, middle of February to the first weekend of November. Uh, the crazy thing is that we raced 90 races in that time span. That's a lot of, lot of races. The outside world uh, doesn't really quite understand how much time gets placed into trying to organize, uh, try to keep a, a World of Outlaws race team out on the road. Um, to not have little struggles here and there. It just takes a lot of man hours um, by a good group of guys that, that work hard. Our, our trailer is a mobile shop. That's what it is. I mean, we have, we have a welder on, on board. We have a shock dyno machine on board that, that Lee uses almost every day. Um, so, you know, in case I crash a shock or or something happens to a shock, Lee's able to take that shock apart, fix it, uh, and it'll be ready to, to go back on the car and, and ready for the, for the next race. Um, we're able to carry four engines, which we typically get about 10 to 13 races. Um, some teams do it by laps, you know, other teams do it by nights, uh, but you're about 10 or 13 nights on an engine, and then we have to ship, ship it back to uh, the engine builder to get rebuilt. Um, you know, that's one thing. We don't really have easy nights. Every night we race is tough. Like it's a, like it's a dog eat dog, right? And uh, so the engines are, are a very viable piece of what we do. And uh, we're fortunate to have Tommy Ryder on board with our engine program. He does a great job. And um, we can send an engine to him. He can literally turn it around and have it back to us within a week, uh, which is a complete result, which is pretty awesome. Our family has always been hard workers, um, so that was just one thing that my dad just made me do. Like, if you're going to race, you're going to work on it. You're going to go to the car washes and you're going to learn how to take the engines apart and maintenance them. And so I'm able to do all that. We're able to put together another car that we had some success with last year. Uh, we've been struggling a little bit with a newer car um, that we tried th this year, and actually at the end of last year, kind of struggled a little bit too. And, made some adjustments uh, during the off season that we thought would help. Ineos uh, has been associated with our sprint car team since uh, the doors opened. Uh, been a huge supporter of Kyle uh, on the NASCAR side of things. And they were able to uh, come out to the sprint car races a couple times and see what we do. And you know, to now have them as a, a primary sponsor on the number two car is pretty cool. And 
um, to be able to take some of Kyle's sponsors and, and you know correlate that to the sprint car side of things. Um, just another great avenue of, of marketing, and it's a great marketing tool for for Ineos. And, and yeah, we've been we've been blessed to have them on board for a long time, and and uh, hopefully we can get some big wins for them.